if you're really in, uh, really interested in being a professional nurse, I think it's vital that you stay connected to your nurse organization because it's it's your voice. I was an RN for 49 years, I guess it's been 49 years. And then um, I, uh, I'm also an acute care nurse practitioner. And I think that's been 10 years. Okay. And I started my career late in life. So I was, uh, I graduated college in 92. So I spent 20 years as an active nurse, as an oncology nurse, mostly. I spent th six years in a hospital and then I went to private practice uh, as an infusion nurse. Um, and I retired at 68 and I'm still active in my KA group. So I, as soon as I moved to Kentucky in 07 and applied for um, a license, then I looked into KA. So I've been an active member since, since that time. My passion is to um, encourage new nurses or other nurses that are actively working. I think we can benefit from, I know when we've had, had uh, lessons, uh, speakers, um, there's, it, there's some value into having people who already have, have practiced and retired. I enjoy the, the camaraderie um, and networking because uh, you learn a lot a lot of times from networking with others, finding out what's new is going on. Um, also, it's a, a perk is to get free CEUs that, because there are presentations by our, by our uh, Nightingale chapter, which is really nice. In nursing schools, it was very pushed as um, your duty as a professional was to be involved in your, um, in your professional nursing organization. So that was, uh, that's one thing. Um, so I think that the, all the, the nursing uh, schools uh, and colleges should be promoting um, the, the K&A.